This is the video demonstration on error analysis. In this video, I'm going to work the solution to example number eight. This example involves the Evans Company, and they have discovered the following errors that need to be corrected. And it looks like they have about five different situations that need to be taken care of. Under the requirements on part one, they simply want us to prepare the journal entries necessary to make these corrections. Now remember, every time we make a correction, if nothing else, we're always going to use retained earnings. That's where we always make our corrections. And the main thing to remember about retained earnings is that it is debit negative and credit positive. So depending on the type of error, we might have to take money out, we might have to put money in, but that'll help us decide where retained earnings needs to go in terms of debits and credits. So the very first error, they failed to accrue wages of $1,200. So in this case, we assume this is at the end of the year, just before the books have been uh, closed. And in this case, they failed to accrue $1,200 worth of wages. Now in this case, I know that retained earnings has to be one of the titles. Is it going to be a debit or a credit? Well, if they fail to accrue wages, then that means I need to lose another $1,200. So retained earnings needs to be my debit account because it's debit negative. And what did I fail to record? Wages expense. So that's the proper way to correct that particular mistake. The second error. They purchased a two-year insurance policy for $4,000. They incorrectly expensed the full amount. They shouldn't have done that. That was a prepaid insurance. What they really should have done is only expense half of that. So that's going to have to be corrected. So half of $4,000 is $2,000. Now again, this is going to involve retained earnings. Now, they went ahead and expensed the entire $4,000 they really only should have expensed half of it. So that means I actually want to add back $2,000. So that means retained earnings in this case will actually be a credit. And since this involves insurance expense, I will debit insurance expense. So that's the proper way to make that correction. The third problem, they received a $10,000 prepayment for future services but they incorrectly recorded it as revenue. That's a pretty big mistake to make, a pretty big problem. It's a $10,000 mistake. Now they recorded this as revenue, but it really isn't. So they mean that means they need to lose that money. So again, retained earnings is debit negative. So I'll debit retained earnings. And what does this involve? This is, involves our revenue so it's service revenue. Now the fourth mistake. They recorded a $3,000 purchase of merchandise. It actually doesn't apply until next year. So in this case, this is a mistake of $3,000. They recorded this as a purchase of merchandise. Really, they're not going to spend this money until next year. So that means we actually have more money than what we realized. So I want to add money. So remember, retained earnings is credit positive. And what did this involve? Merchandise inventory. And then the fifth and final error that needs to be corrected. They accrued $500 worth of interest revenue that actually applies to next year. So we'll have to record a $500 correction for this. Now, this is money that they accrued. Really, it's not until next year. So they're losing money on this one. So I will debit retained earnings. And what did this involve? Interest. So I'll create an interest expense. So that completes the five corrections. And like I said, remember, every correction, you know it has to involve retained earnings and you know retained earnings is debit negative, credit positive. So just ask yourself in each case, are they losing money? Are they making money? And then you can adjust it accordingly to correct that error. 
So this completes the demonstration on errors.